I have a confession to make. I've lived a short walk from Lake Ontario for most of my life and never swam in it. I've motorboated, dragon boated, canoed, kayaked, and even paddleboarded on the lake. I've fallen into the water on many occasions, but never deliberately went for a swim near my hometown in Mississauga. To be clear, I do know how to swim. And it's not that I only limit myself to the chlorinated water of pools. I've been stuck in bumper to bumper traffic for hours on countless summer nights, eager to jump into Muskoka's lakes. And yet, I've never swum in Lake Ontario near the GTA. But I take heart in the fact that I'm not alone. Just like me, many people who grew up in Toronto and Mississauga at the end of the 20th century went through life being told that the lake at our doorstep was not safe to swim in. Fear of swimming in urban lakes, fueled by a history of pollution and social constructs related to health, have propelled us into filtered and chlorinated alternatives. My goal is to bring urban swimming back to the lake. In order to get swimmers back into the water of Lake Ontario, people will need to change, the water will need to change, and the landscape connecting them will need to change. To realize this, I propose three strategies. First, use architecture to inspire people back into the lake. Second, improve lake ecosystem health. And third, educate the public regarding water quality evaluation. Pools can be found all around the world, but our lakes and rivers are unique to the place we inhabit, and they help shape our Canadian identity. By moving away from using Lake Ontario as a place for swimming, we've turned a blind eye to our negative impact on the water. Swimming combines two important Canadian passions, leisure and nature. A person who is willing to take the time to travel to the lake and bring their whole body into contact with the water is more likely to care about its health. Diving back into Lake Ontario will help strengthen our inherited passions. And fostering an emotional connection to the water now will help protect that great lake for future generations. Thank you.